Good Thursday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Conversation Daily News. Glad you all can be with us. Well, we made it over the hump, and we're in the home stretch for the weekend to the last Thursday of January already. Can you believe that? That just kind of shows you what this year is going to be like. Of course, you have news headlines coming up on this Thursday. I have a message from my book, Worry That She's Lit By, and in today's news you can use. Yesterday, I was joined on Conversations Live, the radio show, by Dr. Stephen Knopf. He's someone who's been able to talk to us about the importance of chiropractic care, but he also talked about the importance of conscious breathing and how it can help you in reducing stress and improving your quality of life. You don't want to miss that. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Thursday headlines in Mississippi News. Hollywood A-listers filming in Mississippi, says 16WAPT. Two A-list Hollywood stars were filming in Mississippi. Tyler Perry is shooting his new movie, Joe's College Road Trip in Clarksdale. The Clarksdale Police Department posted a picture on Facebook of Perry with Mayor Chuck Espy and officers. Perry is looking for bikers with Harley Davidson and truckers to be in the movie. Meanwhile, Al Pacino is filming a movie in Natchez. The Natchez Democrat reported that Pacino is shooting a sci-fi movie called The Ritual. Filming is expected to last for three weeks. In national news, Minnesota trooper is charged with murder in shooting of motorist Ricky Cobb II during a traffic stop. A Minnesota state trooper was charged with murder Wednesday in the shooting of motorist Ricky Cobb II, who failed to get out of his car during a July traffic stop and took his foot off the brake when officers tried to arrest him. The trooper, who Conversations Daily News is not naming, was charged with second-degree unintentional murder, first-degree assault, and second-degree manslaughter in the death of Cobb. The county attorney said the suspect's use of deadly force was not justified. As with all Minnesota law enforcement officers, state troopers may only use deadly force when it is necessary to protect a person from an identified threat of great bodily harm or death that was reasonably likely to occur. That did not exist in this case. Ricky Cobb II should be alive today, the county attorney said. The suspect's attorney called his client a hero, saying the suspect was trying to protect himself and a fellow trooper. The suspect's attorney immediately filed papers seeking to have the case dismissed, or at least to have the county attorney removed from the case. In more national news, the Associated Press shares how to stay warm in layered clothing and avoid frostbite this winter. As a bout of bitter and deadly cold sweeps the U.S., millions of Americans are being told to dress in layers if they must go outside. In places that rarely experience bone-chilling temperatures, the advice can be confounding. What does it mean to layer up, says the Associated Press? Is it different from just putting on a jacket? Is there a way to do it wrong? People in Minnesota, a state that is no stranger to the cold, has wisdom to share. Layering means wearing multiple pieces of clothing to keep your body comfortable in cold weather. Each layer creates an insulating pocket of air that protects you better than just wearing a big jacket, and layering helps move sweat and moisture away from your skin. No matter how cold it is, you probably are going to sweat when you go outside and start moving, said Claire Wilson, the executive director of a nonprofit that promotes winter recreation and activities in Minnesota. If you're wearing the correct layers, you can feel perspiration wick off away from the body. The idea is to add another layer if you get cold or take off a layer when you get hot or wet. In entertainment news, Jon Stewart will return to The Daily Show as host just on Monday, says the Associated Press. Comedian Jon Stewart is rewinding the clock, returning to The Daily Show as a weekly host and executive producing through the 2024 U.S. election cycle. Comedy Central on Wednesday said Stewart will host a topical TV show, The Perch He Ruled for 16 Years, starting in 1999. He will be hosting it every Monday, starting February the 12th. A rotating lineup of show regulars are on tap for the rest of the week. Over the years, The Daily Show, first hosted by Craig Kilburn, then Stewart and Trevor Noah, has skewered the left and right by making the media a character and playing it absolutely straight, no matter how ridiculous is the Associated Press. The show, which won an Emmy this month for Best Talk Show Series, has not had a permanent host since Noah left last year. And finally, in business news, Netflix and tech companies pull Wall Street higher, even as most stocks fall. Strong gains for Netflix and some influential technology stocks pulled Wall Street a bit higher on Wednesday, even though most stocks were weakened. The S&P 500 was 0.3% higher in late trading and on track to set a record for a fourth straight day. The jump for tech stocks had the Nasdaq Composite leading the market with a gain of 0.6%, but the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which edged down 4 points, are less than 0.1%. 
Earlier in the day, stocks climbed elsewhere around the world after Chinese authorities announced measures to boost what's been a disappointingly weak recovery for the world's second largest economy. On Wall Street, Netflix leaped 12% after it said it added more subscribers during the last three months of 2023 than analysts expected. That took precedence for investors over the company's profit, which fell short of analysts' forecast. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's some time for a message from my book, Words That Choose to Live By. Enjoy. Good Thursday, everyone, and welcome to Words That Choose to Live By. Today, refuse to accept a breakdown. Instead, use the day speaking into existence your breakthrough. The finish line is in sight. You just have to keep moving forward until you reach it. Have a great Thursday. We are part of my conversation coming up with Dr. Stephen Knopf in today's news you can use. Stay with us. You're listening to Conversations Daily News. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Suresh Webb with your news you can use. Dr. Stephen Knopf rejoined me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about the connection between conscious breathing and chiropractic care and how it can help you reduce stress and improve your quality of life. Here's a bit of our conversation. Dr. Knopf, always a pleasure having you on. Thanks again for the time. Yeah, thanks for having me, Cyrus. It's great to be back. Well, we've talked about in the past about the importance of chiropractic care, and of course we're going to get into that as well, but what is one of the best ways, Dr. Kanoff, to be able to start off taking care of ourselves when it comes to this year? Well, it's uh, January, New Year, so that means everybody's thinking about resolutions and how can they improve themselves uh, over the next year, and typically we think about uh, eating better or changing our diet or exercising more and going to the gym more often. One of the things that's really overlooked uh, is the importance of breathing and integrating some kind of uh, breathing exercises in in our day-to-day. If we can do that, it can help manage a lot of different things and provide health benefits from reducing anxiety, reducing the effects of stress on our body. Uh, It can help provide us with little energy boosts throughout the day. So there's a lot of great reasons to integrate breathing routines throughout our day. Yeah. And Dr. Kanal, the thing I thought about when I was prepping for this segment is this is something especially for our office that a lot of them are working in offices, maybe even working from home. These are things that they can be able to incorporate just easily into their routine. So what are some breathing exercises that they can start with? Uh, Yeah, a couple of great exercises that I recommend. The first one is called square breathing. It's where you picture a square. Uh, Each side of the square uh, is uh, timed for about four seconds. So you'll Breathe in for four seconds, working your way up one side of the square. You'll hold that breath, working across the top of the square for four seconds. You'll exhale, working down the other side of the square for four seconds. And then you'll hold that breath out, uh, working your way across the bottom of the square. And then going back to an inhale. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We're about to get on tomorrow to wrap up this week. And until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.